Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at Black Friday's trade show and networking event, and I'm here with Mr. Orville Cummings. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. That's great to hear, man. So you are one of the vendors here yeah. at this trade show and networking event. So quickly, in about 30 seconds, tell us what your business is and what you'll be selling. 30 seconds? 30 seconds per business? Because yeah, I, mean, just... I got two setups right now, so I'll do 15 seconds each, okay, right? Go ahead. I have a, a resistance bands business that I started in the pandemic when I couldn't go to the gym, so I created mm. my own fabricated resistance bands. Note that fabricated, so they can be washed in the, in the washer, and they're unbreakable. So if anyone here right now is watching, come test them out. They're unbreakable. Oh, okay. Second business, uh, on my spare time, I do a lot of art, painting, and stuff. Mm. Now, I'm not Picasso, but my expression <laughs> is very unique. So I painted, it's a form of therapy for me. And throughout the years, people told me they love my painting. They either want to buy it or they want it on a t-shirt. So right. I decided I'll do printed tees. Mm. So this was the first um, trial here doing the printed tees. Mm -hmm. um, I enabled the, the company Coco, XO, XOA. That's Coco, designed by Orville Cummings. Uh, my other business uh, is Tapped In Fitness. Okay. Yeah. So you do a lot, basically. Yeah, I try. You know, I try. You know, I'm primarily in the entertainment industry, but the industry it gets quiet. It gets busy in my spare time. I like to, like, uh, do artistic stuff and, like, find different forms of expression. And I love working out and I love mm -hmm. art, so... We love to see that. We love yeah. to see that. So how does it feel to have this opportunity to be here at Black Friday, be able to sell your products, but also be in a room with such fantastic Black entrepreneurs and other businesses? Oh, man. Um, first of all, the opportunity is amazing because I've been looking for something like this. Mm. Uh, but, you know, it's it's almost like these communities, there's so many of them. Yeah. And it's like I was trying to find a community, but it ended up finding me because I know one of the organizers here. And she hit me up say, hey, we're doing this thing. Come in and, and like, you know, thing. I'm like, I'll do you one better. I got a business. Can I get a <laughs> vendor? She's like, all right, say less. And it's the weirdest thing. You know when your phone listens to you because you've been talking about right, something, you keep right. seeing it? Mm -hmm. After I spoke to her, all I see is things for like, come up to do these vendors of these like black uh, spaces, these events, networking events, and everything. Now, it's not limited to just going to a, an event predominantly with black entrepreneurs, right. but it's very important as a black entrepreneur to be surrounded by black entrepreneurs to show that you also can do this. Representation Absolutely. is very important, so it's good that everyone's coming out here repping, and uh, really, uh, this is a huge community. Natasha just walked by, and she's so sweet. Mm -hmm. She came by, <laughs> she dropped off some business cards, she gave us a nice little pep talk. So right. everyone here is supportive, everyone here is nice, and it's just absolutely. a blessing to be here. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, man. Um, another question I wanted to ask you is, how do you try to stand out in a room full of entrepreneurs? Mm, let's see, okay, so because this is my first vendor. Oh, really? I'm, yeah, it's my first time here, so I'm learning that as I go. Um, I think trying to stand out for me, I think by default, I I don't see anyone having any fitness uh, brands in here. There's a couple of shirts and whatever, but right. uh, trying to stand out, I it's just when you come to me, I try to bring a unique energy and personality. I'm not really trying to compete or try to overshadow anyone. I want to go around, someone comes to me and say, oh, this is great, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Do you like food? Yeah. Right. This, this lady down there got mm -hmm. a nice hot sauce business, you know? <laughs> That's how we all, you know, move along and elevate is if right. we all help each other. Mm -hmm. And it's word of mouth. You go in there, if you're not advertising your neighbor, you know, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So Collaboration it's like, yeah, over competition. Exactly. Because, you know, back in the day, I love looking at words and their origin meaning and competition meant striving together. It didn't yeah. mean in opposition right. between one another to see who can be number one. Because... Mm -hmm. There's infinite space for all of us to be at the top. I love that yeah. so much. Okay, a couple more questions. Yeah. What would you say is your biggest superpower when it comes to your business? My biggest superpower? I said my biggest superpower is making people feel comfortable to open and ask any questions. Because um, when people go to different businesses, no matter what it is, there's a couple of questions they want or, or, or things they want to inquire about. Uh, one could be pricing, quality and anything and some people feel a ways about asking that because they don't want to feel like they're disrespecting your business right. or you don't look at them a certain way it's like mm -hmm. oh you can't afford this or you don't but it's not about that if you if you have a question a genuine question there's no stupid questions the only <laughs> stupid question is the one you don't ask right you shouldn't ask any question if you don't know because someone next to you might not might want to ask that question too you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying so i think i just want to create a space where people can feel comfortable to open and then we can have like a transparent conversation and i think that's what i really want to do because i myself i go to these events and i'm buying from vendors and i'm asking a hell of a lot of questions yes. so I, I i understand that so i want to give that to people so when they come just the comfortability and the warmth very true very true okay i'm gonna hit you with a curveball question oh, all right so which celebrity would you love to have dinner with Ooh, which celebrity i would love to have dinner with now Again, I'm in the entertainment industry, so I'm more biased to 
actors. Mm. But at the same time, there are some people I feel like I wouldn't get anything that will move me along in life or in the conversation. But I'm just like, I know it's going to be a bomb ass dinner. Uh, but I'm going to pick someone that kind of will give me a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dave Chappelle. Oh, I like that. Dave Chappelle. I like that right, answer. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. I'm going to have a dinner with Dave Chappelle. He asked the question, what celebrity I, I want to have a, a dinner with? Yes. No, I never had a dinner with Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he was like, wait, 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 how was it? What did you guys eat? Jimmy was asking for confirmation, yeah, guys. Yeah. What did you guys go to eat? <laughs> you go, you go. I love that. I love that. Yeah, well, Orville, I'm hoping that you have a great time today. Yeah. Quickly, before we end it, just look straight into the camera and tell people to go follow All Black Market. Oh, yes. Everyone, if you're watching this, please go and follow All Black Market. All right, perfect. Orville, great meeting you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know, don't know. Of course, of course.